G'day everyone, it's Jerry here from Suck on Fly Traps. With winter just around the corner, now's the time of the year when you prepare your North American pitcher plants for their deep winter sleep. So in this video, you'll learn not only how to prepare your plants, but you'll also learn the reasons for doing so as well. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more seasonal, up-to-date, exciting videos about carnivorous plants. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos in your newsfeed. So the way I prepare my North American pitcher plants for winter is simply by cutting off all the leaves around the base. Just using a sharp set of secateurs here. And I'm cutting off the green leaves at least about a centimetre away from the rhizome. So the rhizome is this part here, it's the underground stem which produces the leaves, okay? So just using a sharp set of secateurs, just use the tips of your blades, carefully remove the uh, green leaves, okay? Now, it's important when you're using the secateurs that the blades are sterilized. The way I do that is simply by spraying on some methylated spirits onto a rag and simply by wiping down the blades. So get into the habit of doing this between each plant that you work on. By doing so you prevent the spread of pathogens and it also gives you that more confidence knowing you've got sterilized gear. Okay, so I'm just going along here again just cutting around the base around about a centimeter off from the rhizome. Now by doing this you're giving the plant a strong signal to go to sleep. So North American pitcher plants are temperate carnivorous plants, meaning that they need that vital deep winter sleep, their rest period before they come up in spring. And by doing this, you're giving that plant a clear signal to go to sleep. You're not hurting the plant in any way, even though it's got these green leaves there. It's uh, late May, it's near the end of the growing season. So even though this plant's got green leaves, it has stopped growing. So it's okay to remove these uh, leaves. Now this plant's going to have plenty of space for it to send up new shoots in early spring by me removing all its leaves. And there's also going to be plenty of sunlight hitting this rhizome early in spring which will stimulate new leaf growth as well. Now you're going to come across some of these older pictures which are quite brown all the way down to the base. So rather than removing them with my secateurs, I like to simply remove them by hand. And normally they should come off and they come off completely like you can see right here. You can see the base that's a bit wide. And by removing them completely, you really do pave the way for new growth, new leaf growth in spring. Rhizomes are like onions, they've got layers of leaves around them. And by removing them by hand like this, you really do stimulate new growth in spring. Here's another one here. You can see their base there, how it's quite wide. And that's a sign that you've completely removed that leaf. This is another one. Actually, that one didn't come off. So what you can do, you can just simply cut that off around the base. About a centimetre away from the rhizome. So continue doing that until all the leaves are removed. The same plant with all its leaves removed. All you've got is the rhizomes, the moss and the sundews.